Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Welcome back, everyone. Yes, we're in a political season. Yes, there are all kinds of candidates running, and yes, they all have opinions. Uh, but I, you've heard me say many times, I don't care what party somebody belongs to, that uh, labels aren't really important. It really comes down to the person. And uh, I have to admit, first time I interviewed Nancy here, a couple of months ago, right, Nancy? Mm, yeah, yeah, now. Mm -hmm. yeah. The, uh, I was just very impressed with her openness about wanting to deal with everybody and that everybody's invited into the tent. She's running for town supervisor in Wilton. So I invited her back so I could find out how the campaign was going. I appreciate that. And also just talk a little bit more about the public servants line that's on the ballot that I spotted. I've never seen that before. And also what you're finding out when you're knocking on doors. So let's go back to the beginning there. Um, how's the campaign going? It's going great. Is it? That's right. my favorite part is knocking on doors. Yeah. I'm all about who are the people that live in my town? Mm. What's of interest to them? What do they bring to the table? What are their backgrounds? Who might want to be called to the table when an issue comes up? Mm. So we've been knocking doors. I, I've been knocking doors since June 4th when petitions started. Mm -hmm. And right on through, and I, that's my favorite part. And I have a feeling that you don't have a little card that says, oh, that house is a Democrat, that's a Republican, or that's that. You're knocking on all of them, doesn't are you? doesn't matter to me. Yeah, right. It does I, not yeah. matter to me. Right. I, have, I have my message to put out there, and I'm actually an NOP. So I have no yes. official party, and I chose to stay that way in this campaign because I believe elected officials should be public servants and yeah. serve everybody regardless of party. Well, thank you. You just gave me my next lead-in, by the way, because I saw this public servants line yes. on the ballot. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that. I've seen independent lines, you know, mm -hmm. uh, working party lines, all these things. How did that happen? What's that about? That was a big motivator for me to run. Mm. Um, is I, I'm an independent ENT, yes, not right. ENCE. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm an independent and really thought that public ser elected officials should be public servants, mm -hmm. not party servants. I'm, I'm seeing all of the discourse and diversiveness going on up at the national level and thought, you know what? Party name, ca name calling in general, cons you're a conservative, you're a liberal, you're a progressive. Aren't we a little bit of all of that? Mm. And name calling boxes someone in. So I have a perception and an understanding of what I think those things mean. You might have something a little bit different. But as soon as we start name calling each other, we box each other into our own perceptive boxes and we shut the conversation down. So, so, so I wanted to be, I wanted to put up an option for people. Okay, so that means you have to go out, honestly, yes. uh, and mm -hmm. petition, right? Yes. And, and get signatures. Yeah. Uh, how many signatures did you need to get? We needed to get Around 250, maybe okay. a little bit more. I don't How remember the exact get? number. We got over 400. Oh, obviously the uh, constituents agree. Yes. Obviously. Oh, yes. The message is really right. hitting home with people. Mm -hmm. And I, I, at the door, I see people kind of relax and go, why can't it be like that everywhere? Mm -hmm. Why can't that message be everywhere? And then some people look at me and they go, will you run for president? <laughs> like, easy, one hey, step at a time. <laughs> one step at a time. Um, when you're knocking on doors and obviously uh, people are opening up to you and talking to you and you're not, you know, deciding I'm knocking on that door and not knocking on that door, what's kind of the common thread with Wilton? You know, uh, I see a lot of change in Wilton. Anybody that's been around for 10, 20 years sees a lot of change going yes. on there. So what, what are they concerned about? So the things I've been hearing all summer long and even through to now um, are development and the growth. Wilton's a really attractive place to live yeah, sure. for a lot of different reasons I'm not going to go into here. Um, so that's a big concern of people is, is the development. And there's a, no, no one issue is an, has an easy solution. Um, mm. There are all kinds of regulations, zoning, planning, all kinds of things that go into there. And another thing I hear is people want more connectivity bike paths. I want to be able to walk oh, oh, safely. Oh, yes. um, you know, we also have Mount McGregor. Yes. That belongs to the state and it's not even in Wilton, but mm -hmm. we're the corridor of entrance to mm -hmm. that. So what happens up there is of concern to us. So I have, there's some people in our town who are very interested in keeping their eye on what goes on up there. 
And the other thing I, I see is what's going on with our commercial development mm -hmm. and how is Route 9 going to look? So mm -hmm. those are the things I'm hearing from people. You know, the things that you're highlighting are the things that uh, you, uh, are usually framed in backdoor deals, right? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, and that the, all of a sudden you find out, well, why are they taking down all those trees on that corner over there? And you find out that there's a development going in. So an overused word, but the reason I, I, I intro it like that is that transparency would be very important there. On, on two fronts, yes. that the voters know prior to major mm -hmm. decisions that affect their lives, their families, their neighborhoods, their connectivity, Absolutely. their development, and all those other things. Absolutely. But also the idea, I assume, is that everyone's invited to the table. You know? Those um, are big things. Novel for idea. Me. <laughs> those are really big things for me. Yeah. Those are my platform yeah, of okay. as a supervisor, as a leader in any position. It's not about what I want. It shouldn't be about what I want personally. In fact, I almost have to leave that at the door. As a leader, you are a facilitator. And it is everyone in our town, in any town, deserves the right to know what's going on, what's being proposed, mm. to have the opportunity to learn the facts about that so that you come and you are invited to the table to be part of the conversation from start to finish. It's right. your town, it's your county, it's your state, it's your country. Your leaders should be providing those opportunities and inviting you, welcoming you, regardless of what comes after your name on a registration roll, what faith you are coming from. In fact, the more the merrier, the better results we're going to get, mm -hmm. the more people that are at the table with those varied backgrounds, those varied opinions. One person cannot have all those answers. Well, you know what? Uh, it's very interesting to listen to you. Uh, the passion comes through immediately. But quite honestly, you're talking about the fundamentals of democracy. Uh, <laughs> and it, uh, you know, it's, we're blindsided by all of the noise that mm -hmm. comes out uh, from our national office. And you think to yourself, all right, well, if all politics is local, then you can have an impact oh. if you really just follow some of the basic tenets that, that you described. Um, Nancy, by the way, is on the Democrat line, and she's also on the public servant line. I'm just very taken with that line. I've never seen it before. I'm going to keep fighting for that line in every yeah. election. Well, you, 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 Nancy said something to me before we went on there. She said, you know, when you look at the ballot, there's always that finger point, mm -hmm, you that know. arm. Well, yeah, that little finger point mm -hmm. might be for public service, emphasis on public and service, yes. right? Yeah. Absolutely. Well, it's great to have you back again. Uh, you're very transparent in, in what you think and what you believe. Best of luck. Okay? I appreciate it. Always yeah, a pleasure speaking with you. You're welcome. And yeah, go to Nancy's website. If you what's what's the website? Dwyer for Supervisor. Okay. Dot com. com. Dwyer for Supervisor. Dot com. Best of luck, Nancy. Thank you very much. You're welcome. See this interview again. You can head to our website, looktvonline.com. <laughs>